Hey, what's up guys? Footy Manager TV here. This is my fourth episode of my Plymouth Argyle career. And we got a match against Bristol Rovers. First match of the league away. They're probably one of the better teams in the league. So hopefully we can get a good performance. At least get a draw. I'll be happy with that in the first match. As I haven't played with lower teams yet. So, uh, yeah. But I'll be going back to professional like reasons I've already mentioned in previous videos. So, yeah. I won't talk about that in... Uh, any more videos, but yeah, I'll just focus on the team now as you can see for now We're on world class. So we'll see how we can perform in the first match ever But yeah, uh, let's go and see how we can play against one of the better teams in the league And it's probably gonna take me a while to get used to playing with lower level players because I'm used to playing with the obviously good players with Newcastle So obviously it's gonna be a different level and I just gotta change the way I play a bit But I'm still gonna actually go for position play and I'm gonna focus my transfers around that buying players with good passing uh, yeah, basically good passing, good technique, and, and those kinds of attributes. So I may not have all of players in the team like that right now. So yeah, I just got to work around that and try and get players in who play like that. But I got quite a few. I bring in some guys like Balon, uh, Horahane, who was in the team already, who suits very well. The wingers are very fast, good dribbling, so they suit well. Uh, Leconte as well, he's a good striker. So a lot of players, uh, more than I expected, suited this formation, 4-3-3, uh, basically like Barcelona. So hopefully we can try and play, but like I said, it might take a few games for me uh, to start playing the way I want. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Like I said, I'll probably be happy with a draw, but maybe we can get a win. Just got to see what happens. And just quickly on the difficulty, obviously this match is world class in the next couple, but I'll be going back to professional on Newcastle United career as well, just because of funness levels and other reasons that I don't, I've already talked about. So anyway, I just want to focus on the matches. Anyway, there's the shot. It's blocked, but Horahani picks it up again and finishes in the bottom corner. That was a fantastic finish, and he's got very good performances. First match for us, a very good game. Um, he got the goal here. He got a good rating, I think, if you see at the end of the match. Pretty lucky there to get the shot blocked from the defender and then just picked it up and finished it. And here's Guerreri. As you can see, he gets blocked. He's a very uh, tiny player, not very strong, but when he can get past players with his pace, um, he's very dangerous in like the final third of the pitch. And with his good speed and dribbling, he's obviously a key player in this formation. But look there, Basiro, the left back, with his uh, fast pace, he's going to be a key player for us, going to create down the left. As you can see, Guerrero with the ball, and he's going to give it back to him soon to create a chance here for us. See, as he gives it back to Basiro, he'll play a ball for Boulogne, who's naturally left-footed, but he hits it with his right, and it hits the crossbar. Unlucky there really it was a pretty good shot on his opposite foot um, So we're creating a lot of chances early see look at that what I mean on world-class <laughs> Thing things don't like that don't normally happen on professional when I play and it, but anyway That's one reason why I'm gonna be going back to professional But anyway, here's a chance for Lennox. He should have finished that but like I said playing on this lower level It's hard uh, you got especially with the the low skill attributes It's gonna be hard to finish chances like that if it was my Newcastle career, one of my good strikers would have finished. But here, 45th minutes, I thought they were going to score, so I bring up my goalkeeper, and he did well to clear it there. So really happy to go in 1-0 with the lead against Bristol Rovers, one of the favourites for promotion in this league, as they've been in the League 1 in previous seasons. So uh, they're probably favourites, and us, we're not really favourites, but hopefully we can... Uh, get uh, do a good season and maybe get in the promotion playoff so we just got to see how it plays here they had a chance but like i said we got to work for promotion if not next season for sure as i'm still working on transfers to suit this formation but as i felt they were starting to dominate i wanted to make some subs bring some fresh players on and hopefully can change the tide of the match and start getting the game back on our terms again with a good passing. But here, they're going to create a chance. Uh, they got Harold with the ball, who's been an impressive player for them they, in this game. He did very well. As you can see, he makes a run. Our midfielders didn't go with him, and he finishes. I think I've got to work on my man marking. I don't know if you can change that somehow. I've got to have a look. But yeah, anyway, it was a really good finish. I didn't really expect them. That was a really impressive piece of play by them, really. I didn't expect them to pass that well and really someone to finish that great. As you can see on the replay here, a very good uh, pass back to Harold, who was all by himself, and he finished that superbly. And the goalkeeper that we have of his level is not going to save that. And now, we're getting towards the end of the match, or actually right at the end of the match. They make a substitution in the 90th minute when we have a corner. We have a chance to win the match here. Not sure why substitutes are warming up in the 90th minute, but anyway, uh, we have a chance. We're going to go um, right at the back post. We have a chance, but they defended that really well. As good as a corner can be, but if the, if the defenders are positioned well of the opposition, you're never going to score. As you can see, Horahani had a great game. He's going to be a key player for us, a very good passer of the ball, which I need. 
And yeah, no one else really played that great. But here, we got a contract accepted by Oliver Mitchell. He was a great play, um, a great find by our scouts. He has future potential of 90 plus. And you just got to see if he can do well for us. But this is the exciting part. When you see how good the player is when he comes to your team. Hopefully he'll have good attributes. Maybe some good skill levels with his weak foot and uh, skill uh, skill moves. Star. But we just got to see. I'm really pop uh, Hopefully he's a fast player that, uh, that's good passing. But we just got to check him out now. As you can see our other players here. He's 62 overall. That's fantastic. 67 sprint speed. That's not bad. That's going to increase to a lot over 80. Uh, vision and attacking position, not bad, but look at that, 67 finishing, 68 free kick accuracy, 70 long shots, that's going to be heaps, short passing, 72, 69 for um, the other attribute there, so as you can see, and look at that, 5 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves, he's going to be a superstar, I'm going to play him as much as I can, and hopefully he can prove well. And yeah, like I said, uh, we've got a couple injuries, so there's a chance for him to come in. We're going to take Feeney off. We have him transfer listed. I think we're going to sell him in the next episode um, for a good amount of money for his age. So yeah, that money's going to help us to get some other free transfers, which I'll just allocate the budget to all wage budget for the free transfers. So yeah, anyway, um, that was our first match. A pretty good result draw against one of the better teams away in the league. So Hopefully we can keep up with the good results and I'll see you guys soon with some more episodes of this series. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't yet.